Okay, we switched to Chrome. It might be less uh, resource demanding. Now, the only thing you have to remember, at least on my edition of Chrome, is that in order to copy, you can't just do a Command C. You have to actually right click and copy. Make sure you remind me as we go along. Okay, the tool we're going to make here is going to be, I don't know, let's call it a div creator. Okay, div creator. We're going to have a width. The ith height. We'll make these into sliders. Eh, might as well. What the heck? Let's stay consistent. Height and width. We could do, uh, how about this? BG red. BG green. And BG blue we'll have uh, RGB so let's do BG red BG green and BG blue and then we'll have font color and it'll either be black or white Okay, and then we can have content. And that'll be a, a text area. And maybe we will do a border if we have time. All right, so here we go. Let's get our start page. I'm going to copy this, right click because it's in Chrome, and we'll paste it in. Now what I'm about to do, just forget what, what I'm doing. What, what's happening, the reason why we were so slow in the other videos is because it was hard. It was having a hard time loading these scripts, and so I'm just going to do this. Forget, don't, don't pay attention to what's going on here. Nothing to see. What I what I did is I, I downloaded the uh, the scripts on my computer simply because it doesn't have to access the internet for some reason my internet is slow and so we'll just do this these scripts are now on my computer so it doesn't have to go up on the web to get them all right so we have our script pasted in now let's go get our beautiful structure. Uh, copy and we will go down to the body here's the body and paste that in just like that let's go take a look to see what we got all right so it seems to be working just fine and fast because those scripts are on my computer okay so let's get some sliders for the width We'll get our sliders. Okay, here's our width input. Oops, right click, copy. I'll find my width. Here it is. I'm going to paste it in. There we go. Beautiful. And our width will start out at, see this is the initial, INT, so we'll have an initial 100, and it will go minimum 150, yeah, let's say 50 to 400. Good. And if we were to look at it, because we are curious type, Here's the slider. Notice the default is 100. It goes up to 400 and down to 50. Good. I can even get rid of this here. Other input. Right here.
rid of that. Wonderful. Okay, so that way we don't have to deal with that extra box. We can see right here exactly how, how much it's going to be. Let's go get our height. Here's our height. Copy. Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Right here. We can get rid of that. Like this. Paste it in. There we go. That's the height. Oh, we want to change it. The height will be default 100. And it will go from 50 to 400. Just for our example. I always test because you know how that goes. You don't test as you go. Alright, so here's our height. Here's our width. Seems to be working just fine. Let's get some sliders for our RGB. Here's our red slider. Copy. Find our red slider right here. Let's get rid of that. Good, that's our red. And we want it to go, eh, let's, we can do red, let's do 50 as the default. And it'll go from 0, which is black, to 255, which is white. Let's get our green. Copy. There's our green, there's our green input. Place that in there. Make it go from zero. And we'll do the same thing. We'll get we'll make it gray initially. So it goes from zero, which is black, to 255, which is white. And let's get our blue. Copy. It's our blue. That. Let's do it in. We want it blue. We'll have it 50, which would be a light gray or a dark gray. There's our blue. Okay, our font color. Let's make our font either black or white. That could be a radio box. So we call it fun. Fun. Our variable will be font color and our label will be font color. Notice how all this is written for you as you're creating. Oh, we don't need that. Yeah, we don't need that. All right, so we'll do white. Now, you might be tempted to do uh, hexadecimals, but for some reason, uh, the hexadecimals won't work in the script because it's a special character. So, we'll copy this. We'll put it in the head right here. Then, we'll get our table. And we'll put that in our TD. We'll put that in our TD for font color. Here's our TD. Font color. Okay, there it is. I don't think we'll need that. That's just an extra little label. But that's already covered up here. 
All right, let's take a look. Make sure we're doing it okay. Might as well test it. And here's our red, good, green, and our white or our black. Good. For our content, let's go ahead and get a text area for our content. Here's our text area in red. Let's copy this. Let's go and put it in our content. All right, and let's not worry about the border. We could have the border on or off, but we won't. All right, let's see. All right, there's our content our black or white. Right. Okay, so that's going to be our background. All right, so now that we have this all created, uh, I'm going to get rid of these. We don't really need those, but no, we'll leave them on there. But you can see it's making the form. It's good for uh, starting over. All right, so now, now that we have our beautiful fields, let's create our divs using these variables. And here's our variables. So look, I'm going to create the div. Div style equals, and I'll just do the quotations here. I might as well finish up the div while I'm thinking about it. All right, so div we will do with and put our variable for the web. And of course, it's going to be pixels. Then height. Colon. Just grab our height. Put it in here for pixels. And then we'll do our background color. And we'll do RGB. And our first number will be red. Comma. Green. R G. Yeah. Comma. And blue. Okay, so that's our RGB. And then we will do our font color. Our color will be our font color. Okay, so that's basically doing your inline style. And that should be that. Let me look. Everything looks just great. Let's do a refresh and take a look at our beautiful application. And there it is. We can adjust the, the width, the height. We can adjust the red and the green. The red. So we can adjust the, the green. We can adjust the blue. So we're changing the RGB as it goes. Now our content. Oh, we didn't put our content in. So here's our content. We're going to put the content in the div just like this. We'll put it in P's and we can probably center it. Right, center, center. All right. So let's test this out. Let's 
Let's refresh. Okay, let's adjust the width. Let's adjust the color. Let's do some type. Let's make it white or black. Okay, so maybe if it's greenish, you might want white text. No, you can't see that, so black. And so as you can see, you're updating the DOM just by sliding and typing. This is working great. Let's make that black. There you go. And so you can see that it is easy to create a div. Now, let's say you want this to be something that after you make all these adjustments, you can paste it in your HTML. Okay. Now, the way you do that, let's go back here. Now, you can see that here is our div. There we go. Okay, let's see. Well, here it is. And I'll just get rid of the border. So this is our beautiful, beautiful uh, div structure right here, created automatically. So all I have to do is hit cop hit copy, go to my tool, my tool, go to entities. Paste it in, hit get code, and it turns that whole thing into entities. And if I copy this, and I can paste it here, maybe add a few BRs to separate what's going on. There we go. Now watch what happens. Because these are HTML entities, it'll actually write the the uh, uh, structure for you. Okay, let me hit refresh. Okay, so notice because they're HTML entities, you have now the HTML of what's going to go on here. Notice how it changes, how the code changes. Looking kind of orangish. Make the text black. We'll say this is my div that I created. Notice how it is not only creating the, the thing to fly, but it's also writing the code for you underneath. So all we want to do here then is copy this. And we will open up a new document. We'll save it as demo, 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 demo01.html. Okay, and then we'll just go over here. Just a full one, and you can see here is the here is a div that you created on the fly in perfect HTML, and so that is all it takes to create a tool using this. Uh, all right.